Alrighty y'all, this is World Class Jerk, and today we're going to be talking about this son of a gun behind us right now, the trade platform in Astroneer, and uh, not a very advanced video, but we do have some pro tips at the end of this video, so definitely be sure to stick around for that, because that is important, it does indeed involve a way to more efficiently use the trade platform in some situations, and who wouldn't want that on a trade platform tutorial video, but without further ado, I don't want to keep you for too long, so we're going to get straight into this now. But before we do, you should join my Discord, link in the description, to become a jerk today, you should hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave comments and suggestions, and tap that notification bell. But without further ado, we're actually going to get into it this time. Alrighty, my children, it is time to blast off with this video. <laughs> get it? Blast off, because that's what trade platforms do. <clears throat> Sorry. Alright, anyways, we are going to start off with the very basics, though, because obviously, in order to understand exactly what we're going to be doing with the trade platform, we need to understand the base things about it. And the most important things about this thing are obviously going to be how you get it, and that means we're going to cover the bytes and the crafting recipe, and so first up, it costs 2,500 bytes to unlock this thing, and as for what it costs to craft this thing, it will be costing you a single exo chip, a single iron, and a single tungsten, and so this kind of puts the trade platform in the mid-game, the sort of early mid-game though, it's not very hard to get this thing soon after you blast off with your first shuttle, but do keep in mind that you're also going to want a scrapper, because you do need a way to get scrap. And that's basically all there is to say about the cost. Not a very deep topic, obviously. We're just gonna, we just have to tell you what, to, what it costs. I don't know why I'm even talking anymore. But anyways, yes, we are going to move on to how to use this thing, which is going to be scrap. As I just now said, we do need a scrapper. So this is why, because we obviously need scrap. Scrap is what you use in the trade platform to get resources. It is the currency, so to speak. But how exactly do you get scrap? Well, basically the broken stuff you see around the map, or even stuff you craft on your own, can be scrapped into scrap, so not very hard to get scrap, the main thing is making sure that you have a scrapper. Now, almost everybody knows that you use scrap in the trade platform, it's pretty basic knowledge of the game, but what a lot of people may not know, and something I actually myself did not know despite having quite a few hours, until someone pointed out to me in my Discord server, is that if you scroll down by pressing S in the trade platform, you can also use Astronium to get other resources that are not the same as the scrap resources. You can see on screen now all those resources, and you can see very plainly that you can indeed trade Astronium for these resources, and there's actually something special about one of these resources that we'll get into later on, but for now know that yes, you can simply trade Astronium for a second set of resources that are available to you, uh, chief among them probably the Exo Chips, those are, those are very valuable in this game, so the fact that you can just get it with Astronium is pretty nice, but real quick, just in case you do not know, Astronium, you may think it's rare if you haven't seen it yet, but it's not rare, it's just in a very specific spot, that being the very center of planets. Now, the issue with this is that you do need a drill mod to get all the way down there, and it's also an annoying distance to travel once you make a tunnel all the way down. But once you get down there, it is everywhere, it's not rare at all, and it is absolutely, you'll get loaded the moment you get to the center of the planet. Uh, but yes, make sure you watch out with your rovers down there, by the way, because the gravity is very low. But moving on, because that's not the point, I just wanted to make sure that that was clear, because I do want to branch out just a little bit to make sure that you know exactly how to use this thing. That being said, though, that really is all there is to say about the trade platform. Not a whole lot left I could possibly discuss about this unless I missed something, which I probably did because sometimes I'm not so bright. But to my knowledge, I've covered just about everything I can about the trade platform directly. And so, as you can see on our special chart here, we have another section down at the bottom that is called Pro Tips with World Class Jerk. And this is where we're going to sort of discuss stuff about obtaining scrap. I mean, there's only two points to make down there. But I decided to make it anyways because this is very important because since scrap is the most used thing in the trade platform, you want to know how to get scrap, and so this is exactly what we're going to cover here. So if you just want to know about the trade platform, you can leave now, but if you want to know a few extra things here, that'll help you to get scrap better. Uh, only a couple extra things, actually, just two, but still, if you want to know them, then stick around, and since I've been rambling already, I'm just going to jump straight into this with the first one, and that is that you can actually convert your astronium into scrap. Now, <laughs> world-class jerk, how do I convert my astronium into scrap? I mean, you can't scrap it into scrapper, can you? Absolutely not. Well, at least, not directly. You see, if you trade your astronium for the solid fuel jump jet, then you will, you can scrap the, the solid fuel jump jets, and you will get an equivalent of three scrap per each astronium. I tried everything else in another video, and the best thing to scrap from astronium is the solid fuel jump jet. Nothing else comes even close, so if you're gonna, if you're gonna trade something for astronium, and then scrap it, you want it to be the solid fuel jump jets, so keep that in mind. But yes, you can get scrap from your astronium very, very easily by doing this, and that's a pretty big deal, because you can get a lot of astronium 
and getting three scrap per astronium, it's kind of broken to be honest. That's, that's pretty overpowered, so definitely something worth knowing. Uh, second though, and last but not least, on our pro tips with WCJ is going to be that you can turn your soil into scrap. Now this one's arguably better because you're never really going to run out of soil. The efficiency never really changes with something like this because it's always, always there. But as you can see on screen now, the process, it's, it's kind of elaborate, but not really. Basically, you have a soil centrifuge, right? We all know about that. You put soil inside and then you get some resources. In this case, we are getting resin. Then we use that resin to craft soil canisters, and then we have an auto arm place those soil canisters in a scrapper, and then that's it. We turned our soil into scrap, and very conveniently enough, each soil canister worth of soil will be worth one scrap in the end. So that's like extremely convenient because if you have a single soil canister, that will be one scrap if you put it into this system, which means there's very easy calculations there. But, um, yeah, that's, that's all the pro tips I have for you today, so I guess I'm sort of going to slide on into this outro now, and so if you don't want to see my outro, as always, you can suck my foot, but make sure you hit the like button on the way out, and we're going to get into that now. But yes, my children, it is indeed outro time, because that's just the way things are, and I know you're sorry that the video has to end, because that means less time with me on my channel. Except, actually, maybe not. You can go see my other videos, which is a great idea. I suggest you do that for sure. But yes, definitely be sure to leave comments and suggestions, because they are highly, highly appreciated. Again, as always, the more suggestions you leave, the less I have to think, and that's always a good time. But yes, definitely be sure to join my Discord. Link in the description to become a jerk today, because who wouldn't want to be a jerk today? Hit the like button, hit the notification bell, and subscribe. And without further ado, have a nice day. Day.